Fascinating finds. Finding things fascinating. So this one comes from the Hasselstroms. I appreciate this. Um, it's from the Popular Mechanics book. Ooh, Elon Musk. Fascinating. And I just have a couple of interesting tidbits I got from this one. So, uh, what do animals do during a wildfire, which is very relevant for where we are? And there were some really interesting things. Um, first of all, I wanted to remind us as humans, I know we're concerned about animals, but wildfires are natural. They happen in the environment regardless of if we're there or not, through lightning strikes or whatever. So animals have a natural way of dealing with it. It's not something that they've had to come up with or problem solve. So um, they do have some kind of sense where they can, uh, they don't know if they can sense the heat coming or the smoke coming, but what's cool is uh, mice and moles will actually burrow in the ground deep enough so that the fire doesn't get them, which is cool. And then other little animals will go to the streams and they'll be sitting in the streams so um, they can get away from the fire through the water. And I thought that was really neat. And then um, another one that they had on this page that was pretty cool is it asks, if a volcano destroys your house, can you rebuild on top of cooled lava? And first off, if you own land, it doesn't matter what happens to that land. If lava flows on top of that land, that's still yours. So you could build off of it. And as my first and second graders know, I'm sure fourth and fifth graders know too, um, lava just pools into rock. So it says, yeah, you totally could build on top of it, but you're going to have to do all the piping. You're going to have to do all the engineering parts of it, which would be a pain and it'd be really expensive. And do you really want to build where there's an active volcano? Maybe you should rethink that. And then these are really cool. Um, huh, one of them says, how you can bring a hot dog to work. So it's perfect in time. And it's like boiling water, put it in the thermos, and then you put the hot dog in the thermos for the whole day so it's sitting in the hot water cooking it. I thought that was cool. And then one more for those of us that like salads. It's so silly, I never would have thought of this. So if you have a big bowl of salad, you wanna put an inverted plate at the bottom and all of the salad dressing, the excess oil, will go under the plate. And so your veggies have a little bit of salad dressing and they stay nice and crisp and they don't get soggy. So <laughs> I thought those were pretty neat. So I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you bunches. Thank you for all of the birthday hoopla. It was quite the day for me and I really appreciate it. I miss you. Fascinating finds! Finding things fascinating.